some final edits on yesterday's vlog right over here. I definitely dig that I chose the right room for my office spare bedroom. Beautiful lighting coming in natural light. Love it. Well, well the vlog is rendering out, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I think we need to get rid of some of those boxes right over there. Yes. Yes, some of those boxes do need to go. Of course, I'm gonna be keeping my Home Depot boxes. Those are great boxes. That was worth about 50 bucks. Again, we remember that one. I'll go ahead and stash those in the garage somewhere if they get in the way. Of course, we do have some storage racks, so remember that. But I can go ahead and put that up above the storage rack, kind of lay them on the bottom. Stack those up really nicely. If not, if they get in the way, then I will give them to Mr. Sleep Slot, Mr. AKA Bed Bugs, because he will be moving this summer. That's gonna be a really tough move. I will maybe keep this if my wife wants to return it, but let's go ahead and get rid of all this Ikea stuff. Let's go recycle it. Hey, look what I come home to. Look at that. Mrs. Must order or something don't remember what it is must be something cool also the recycling bins are completely empty trash guy came today so we need to take advantage of that before the neighbors start loading it up so i need to take all this out before anybody notices me doing it trip number three let's go well, i'll tell you what it's a be a beautiful day today look at that folks ah much better we got rid of that big old thing over there we got rid of all the ikea stuff over here this is going to be for wrapping our couch over here those boxes are going to be for mr sleep slot home depot ones of course are going to be for us stash those away how about that now we're gonna come over here too what is in the box Christophera what is in the box what is in the box good call let's find out technically this is kind of like the first unboxing of the house so let's see what we got obviously it's a object for the house because my missus she bought a couple things online taking advantage of that prime shipping you know what I'm saying that's how we do business let's see what we got. My knife skills are a little bit off, folks. Don't you worry about that. We'll be back in the game soon. Hey, how about that? We got a shower curtain for the upstairs shower right there. Very nice shower curtain by Ombre, O-N-B-R-E, with 12 metal roller hooks. Come on now, get some of that right there. And then it says, sold as set, do not open carton. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. This is a West Sport Short and Tall Pump C2. What in the world is that? What in the world? That don't make any sense. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's the shower curtain rod thingamabobbers. Probably. Ah, uh, yeah. Probably in here. Let's find out. And no. It is soap dispensers. Whoa. Look at that. The missus has nice taste. How about that? Take a look at that. We're going to go ahead and leave those out so she can kind of take a look at them there. And then we got a, another little one there. Ooh, nice. Matching with the shower curtain. You know where she gets those ideas from. Me, no, not really. She does a very, very nice job though. How about that? Cool, more trash. Actually more recyclable. Tell you what, let's go ahead and take five for that action right there. Coming over here to some apples. Sunflower seed butter, some nice honey drizzled right on top. Folks, a lot of time has passed by. It is now 1.41 a.m. in the morning. Chris, where you been all day? Exactly my point. We're looking real strong. You know where I'm headed to. Well, first stop is gonna be is the Postal Service. Let's go ahead and ship out a couple eBay auctions and the winners of the contest. Let's go. It actually took me a while to find that eBay auction. No joke, probably about an hour. Not to mention the contest giveaway too. And speaking of which, I'll be honest with you, I only found one. I gotta ship the other one tomorrow when I do find it. I was like, oh no, where is it? My goodness gracious. We'll find it, don't worry. Second stop is complex number one. Well, 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 my friends, we're in complete business right here. We got a full-blown entertainment center, all sorts of goodies. I thought I saw something over here on the right-hand side of the ledge. Let's go in for a closer look. Well, I found the other one right there. Trash on the ground, so that's number two mattress of the day. It was way too dark to see, but someone in this complex threw away their whole entire car muffler it was sticking out of the top of the trash cans. Hey, maybe some scrap metal if you want. Maybe pull the Cadillac converter off of it, I'll tell you what. I 
I think all divers are after different things because I saw a ripped bag, but nobody took the coffee table or the cookware. I'm not sure if you guys saw that cookware or not, a couple pots and pans. Very interesting. Maybe they couldn't fit in the car or maybe they're just looking after recycles. But uh, the rip bags I see rip seems like a little strange why they're ripping them. I'm also noticing a trend in these apartment complexes. I think the leasing people ask you if you're a night owl or if you have early hours or whatnot because they want to put you over by others who are up late together or go to bed earlier so that nobody messes around with noise complaints or anything like that. I noticed that the building back over there, a lot of people people stay up late. I, on one hand, I come for the Coca-Cola points, baby. Oh man, he scared me real good. I heard some smacking. I thought someone was eating behind me. It was the raccoon. You know what, I'm gonna be honest. I wonder if some of my rip bag competition that I just talked about is actually the raccoons trying to get in for food. That would be crazy thinking that there's competition when it's Rascal the Raccoon. You dirty dog, you scared me real good. All right, a question of the day while we head on over to the next complex. Hold on now, that might be an uh, officer of the law. Let's take a little gander, hold on. I think it was security, so let's creep up, make sure he's not going to the same complex we are. Hold on a minute. All right, looks like he pulled a different direction, so I think we are good to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, question of the day is gonna be, would you like a Ferrari living in a condo, or would you like a beat up pickup truck living in 3,000 square foot house, three car garage, but it's only half furnished. And the Ferrari comes with a 700 square foot condo, fully furnished. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Well, hello, clean storage unit. How are you today? <laughs> we like it. That's what I like to see, folks. I like to see a walkway right there with goodies just laying right in the middle of it, just ready for Cristoforo to pounce on it like a chicken pot pie. Ooh, I'm getting hungry now. Awesome! That is a sweet score for, guess what, the last can of the night. Yeah, yeah! What? Chris, what were those? What was that? That, folks, was mixed martial arts kicking and punching bags. Oh, wow. As you know, because of the longer 40-foot garage now, I'm going to be turning that into the Man Cave 2.0. You heard me right, the Man Cave 2.0. First garage was 23 feet long. This one is 40 feet long with no parking. I don't have to park in the car. 
garage, parked car in the garage, which means we are definitely getting this six foot Muay Thai bag. And that was like around the arm and like you kick in the side, like a big body punching bag. Those things are very expensive. And the other one was like more of like, maybe like a shin one or maybe a forearm that like you would just do like a high kick or something like that. Like Thai, like Muay Thai, like pads. Oh, and I almost forgot there was a blanket in there as well. Nice little wool blanket, sweet. Well folks, before I turn back in and head on home, I'm gonna bid you a farewell right here. And now at 3.17 a.m. in the morning, I should be in bed. I haven't stayed up really too terribly late in a while since the move. And so my bedtime is past schedule. I need to go home, get a slice of cheese, brush the teeth, floss, and relaxation without precipitation. God bless you, God protect you. Remember to carpe diem, baby, and live your dream. See you guys tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. Later. <laughs>